In this video, you will learn how to create a surface plot with MATLAB. Surface plots are useful for many real-world datasets, specifically those that are multidimensional. For example, whether observations at a location could have trends tied to both time of the day as well as day of year. Semiconductor chip performance depends on both voltage and temperature. Interpreting multidimensional data is challenging with traditional table formats. Without visualization, it is nearly impossible to extract patterns. This is where surface plots can help provide insight. They offer a three-dimensional representation of the data. By viewing values in the z-axis mapped against locations in the xy plane, you can identify intricate patterns and trends such as peaks and valleys. In this video, you will learn how to create surface plots in MATLAB using the surf function, which creates a surface by plotting z values on an xy plane. We will use an example of radar data where each point contains an xy location and a height z. A surface plot can map the terrain helping to detect features like hills and valleys. In this plot, we can see two distinct hills. The dataset we are using is non-uniform, meaning the measurements are not evenly spaced on the xy plane, which is common with the real-world data. For example, radar systems might have missing readings due to signal loss caused by trees, obstacles or irregular sampling intervals. Although surface plots require uniform data, we can use MATLAB to easily convert our non-uniform data into uniform data. Let's see how we can do this in MATLAB. First, we create a uniformly spaced grid in the xy plane. To do this, we use the linspace function to create evenly spaced x and y vectors. Then we use the mesh grid function to convert those vectors into an xy grid or matrix. This grid will form the basis for creating the surface plot. Once the xy grid is formed, we need to make the z dimension uniform as well. To generate a surface plot, each data point on the mesh grid needs a corresponding z dimension value but a non-uniform data will have missing values for many points on the mesh grid. To address the missing values, you need to take an extra step to interpolate the non-uniform data onto the uniform grid. We will use the grid data function in MATLAB to interpolate the z values onto the uniform xy grid using cubic interpolation. After interpolation, you can observe how the original non-uniform data points have been transformed into a uniform grid. Now that we have uniform data, we can visualize the results using the surf function. This surface represents the smooth interpolated data. To compare the smooth results with the raw data, we can overlay the original non-uniform data points shown in red on top of the surface plot. Using the surf function in MATLAB, we can easily detect and visualize the two hills in the data. In this video, we have explored how to create surface plots with MATLAB by using functions like mesh grid, grid data, surf, you can effectively visualize complex data sets and gain deeper insights. To learn more about the surface plot and other 3D plots, visit the documentation page.